What's up, my name is Technoba here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So today's video is a little bit different to the usual, but if you're looking for something like this, then you've come to the correct place. So recently I've had to send my keyboard in for warranty repair and I'm using a spare normal membrane keyboard, but there's a really annoying feature about it. Instead of it going control start alt spacebar, there's for some reason a backslash between alt and spacebar, meaning I have to awkwardly position my thumb underneath my hand to hold down alt, which I use a hell of a lot while editing and a lot while playing certain games. Instead, I usually hit the backslash by accident, usually causing issues in Premiere or whatever I'm currently using. How exactly do I go ahead and rebind that backslash to be alt, swap the keys around or anything like that? Well, of course, while swapping the physical key caps or the actual keys themselves won't do anything, it's on the software level of Windows or whatever operating system you're using that it's being interpreted and imported to your computer. So how exactly do we remap a key on a keyboard that isn't exactly programmable? Well, usually with gaming keyboards such as Corsair, Razer, etc., they all have software that lets you do this kind of thing. But for me, this is just a normal cheapy membrane keyboard that doesn't have any software that comes with it, nor customization. What do we do? In the description down below, you'll find a link to an open source piece of software called ShopKeys. GitHub.com slash Randy Rants slash ShopKeys. Basically, it's an open source piece of software that lets you remap keys on the registry level of Windows. It changes things for you and it explains down here exactly what you need to do. As you can see down here, one of the questions is, type a key doesn't recognize the alt key when I type it. How do I remap this key? Well, basically, you need to use a drop down menu inside of it. Certain questions like this you may come across and the GitHub page is a good place to see exactly why what you're trying to do isn't really working. But besides that, let's go ahead and download this software. On the right hand side of this GitHub page, you'll find a releases section of which you can click and the very top release on this list should have latest release next to it. Simply click the MSI for an installer or the zip package for a portable installer list package that you can use on something like a USB. I'll simply be installing it as I may come back to the software. I'll click on it to open it up and I'll follow through the installer. Next, choose a location, next, next, wait for it to install and when prompted for admin, simply click yes. After it's done, I'll click close and I'll open up my start menu to open up sharp keys, which is under the recently added section. As you can see, welcome to sharp keys. The application will add one key to your registry that allows you to change how certain keys on your keyboard will work and you'll be using sharp keys at your own risk. Keep this in mind. I'll click OK and a new window pops up. So inside of this window, what do we have to do? Well, I'll simply click add and I'll choose a key on the left to remap to a key on the right. To make this a lot easier, you can click type key and then simply press the key on your keyboard. As you can see, I hit the backslash and it came up as ISO extra key 0056. However, if I press the normal backslash, you can see 002B. So if I hit the extra key at the bottom of my keyboard, you'll see it here. I'll click OK and it's been selected on the left hand side. On the right hand side, let's remap this to Alt. So I'll scroll down to Special as we saw on the GitHub page and I'll look for Alt. Right Alt and left Alt is up here. Awesome, so I'll stick it to this. After clicking OK, you'll see it pop up on the list and all we have to do is click Write to Registry. After doing this, key mappings have successfully been stored to the registry. Please log out or reboot for these changes to take effect. After doing that, holding down that key should affect things differently. In order to undo this, we can simply click Delete All and then Write to Registry. We can also save the keyboard layout and load it if we're gonna be taking this to multiple computers. It's that simple. All you have to do is restart your PC for it to work. Of course, it's not the easiest thing for me to show you, but if I hold Alt and scroll up and down over here, you can see exactly what it does to my timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro. If I hold down the backslash key next to my Alt key, you can see the same thing happens. I can press the two keys and interchangeably use them. They do the exact same thing. It's super simple and working exactly as expected. Now, of course, while my actual key itself is still going to be labeled, however it's labeled digitally on this PC, it's going to react differently than it would before. For me, having my thumb press alt right next to spacebar is much more comfortable than having to set one further key across. From what I've heard, a lot of people on the internet use this to remap their shift key and backspace key as apparently they've swapped places on those keyboards for some reason or something along those lines. But of course, no matter what your reason is and no matter what your keyboard language is, as far as I know, you should be able to remap keys even on a keyboard that you're not supposed to remap keys on, i.e. a non-programmable keyboard. 
But anyways, that's about it for this video. Hopefully you found something useful in it. My name's been Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.